or you're gonna ruin the lives of six cops. Amateurs! I ruined the lives of nine other League of Legends players every single fucking game! Now, you may be confused on why I'm playing Fiora Jungle. Well, it all started with this clash game where the enemy won with this cringy ass strategy, and as the great pillar of the community that I am, I wanted to return the favor, so I sat down and thought what makes a game of League of Legends unplayable. And the first thing that came to mind was a shit jungler. Now, let me break down her abilities with you to show you how non-functional Fiora is in the jungle. Fiora passive, it literally doesn't work on jungle camps and tells the enemy that you're ganking from two screens away with this little marker thing. So if you ever pull a gank off, you probably killed a borderline target player, so don't even try to feel good about yourself. Fiora Q, a very short dash. At the end of the dash, Fiora deals damage to a singular target, and this is the only gap closer in her kit, making it next to impossible to get close to someone. So, instead of using her Q to close the gap, I personally phone the Mexican that maintains the riot servers and get him to dropkick the server rack. Fiora W, the only source of AoE damage in her kit, learning at level 3 and don't even think about raptors before this ability. Fiora E, this is your main ganking tool, it has a 1 second slow, which sets up your W's 2 seconds slow. Fiora R, the second they cast this ability, the enemy's gonna beeline out of there because they have infinitely more mobility than you until you have your third item. Now, due to Fiora jungles and ability to actually clear jungle camps, you will need to rely on Lies and Deceit. By exclusively ganking allies who are out of resources and helping them push in waves, it also allows you to justifiably tax their golden EXP. And a little tip here, be sure to smite the cannon. This allows you to stack up your jungle item, get 90 gold, meanwhile speeding up the push. Now, these runes were handpicked for their maximum proficiency for ruining lives. First, pick up Fleet, Alacrity, Attack Speed, Adaptive, and Armor Flex runes, so you can actually stand a chance of clearing the jungle. Then, take Triumph to get the extra 20 gold per commission, in the hopes that you'll be able to afford your own place one day. A cardboard box on the river by the brush, that is. Lastly, take Last Stand, Font of Life, and Revitalize for the team fight part of Team Fight Fiora. Now, I know that I've been procrastinating for 2 months we're actually sitting down and making this video, but now that I'm actually trying to grow my YouTube channel, because Jungle Fiora had me realize that all I wanted in life was to be able to afford the premium 92 octane gas so I can drive into a brick wall at 120 miles per hour. That was your cue to, you know, drop a sub, so, um, that, that would help. Now that I've procrastinated for half the video, I should probably go over how Team Fight Fiora works when it comes to an actual team fight. Essentially, you're not here to carry the game as you're team fighting with Fiora. Instead, Imagine yourself as an average Syrian citizen, just trying their absolute best to keep their children of four alive. And you will be achieving this with Team Fight Fiora's only functional ability, the 34 second cooldown ultimate, by rushing Death Stance and Maw to bulwark up your defenses, ensuring that you won't get your squishy melee ass instant nuke when you pop your head out in a team fight. Up to this point, it actually looks like a somewhat normal Fiora build, but now, as I alluded to earlier, your third item will be used to solve the issue of others being able to escape from your sexual advances, and to do that, you'll be be buying Everfrost. Now you may be wondering, why the fuck are you buying an API to Mount Fiora? And before you start flaming me and calling me retarded, let me just give you my own perfect justification, and that is due to this item being able to drop Fiora's skill level so low that a politician can play it. By simply clicking R and Everfrost at the same time, it will group the enemy, speed you up, and automatically pop a vital for you. If you somehow find yourself with level 4 gold, pick up 2 forbidden idols and later combine them into Mikhail's and Redemption. When combined, they will bolster your art healing by so much that it makes modern medicine look like a fucking joke. As a disclosure, this video is made for entertainment purposes only and should never be recreated, even as a 5-man pre-made, because it will make your friends never want to play with you ever again due to its life-altering and eye-opening shittiness. Oh, I'm mid, I'm mid, I'm mid, I'm mid. We can just make all Yo, Aram? I, I gotta get this thing. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, you know, they're all blind! They're blind! <laughs> oh my god! No, 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 no! No, 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 no,